Oh, well, we just got back from a good dinner and we decided, well, Mama and I had a, we had a rough day at work, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So we decided that we we're going to take the kids out to uh, the, the big, shop. the big old city here. We're going to go to the candy shop and we don't come to Omaha much, but where we're at is downtown Omaha and it's kind of like an old time uh, all the old buildings and stuff. It's kind of hard to explain, but they got a candy shop here that we absolutely enjoy. Uh, like I said, it's real historic. A lot of people uh, come down here and get away from the, I don't know, the urban areas and come and enjoy a little historical areas. So we come down here to relax and take the kids to the candy shop. So let's go check out the candy shop. You guys like coming down here? Uh-huh. Downtown, uh -huh. yeah. This is probably my favorite place ever. Oh, really? Because I'm not really used to it because we don't go down here a lot, but I love it here because it's so, it's busy and it gives me city vibes. <laughs> well, there's a lot of cultural stuff down here. Art galleries and and uh, old trinket shops. And like I said, we're going to go to this. Brick yeah, roads. Yeah, brick buildings, brick roads. This stuff's been here since 1800, so it's it's really kind of cool to come down here. But so it's a treat for us. Yeah. So I was talking about. This is this is the stuff that just gives you. Food. Yeah, we should get that. I love the bowl. Yeah. Or a long one, I guess. I think we should get like this. That's, that's no bowl. <laughs> What's that? Amy has the nuts. <laughs> Yeah, he's well in doubt, isn't he? Oh, don't, don't kick him in the nuts. Yeah, <laughs> Oh. Can I pet him? Yeah. We're gonna have a big one too. Yeah. We have a Connie Corsa, if you know what that is. Yeah, I do. Yeah, we just we have a four month old Connie Corsa right now, so he's huge. Yeah. yeah. Well Gunder, you give him about six months. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go to the candy shop, guys. That's what's kind of special about coming down here is you get musicians and street performers and just a lot of old stuff here under here. So this is what we like going to is the Hollywood candy. It's uh, it's full of all kinds of surprises. Should we go inside? We should. Are right, you guys ready for this? It's about the best candy shop in the world. I mean, whenever you got anybody like the Blues Brothers here, pretty cool bam candy shop <laughs> I like this yeah did you guys get everything you wanted yeah yeah, yeah. A bag full a bag full a bag full couldn't film in there because apparently you know obviously kids are going in there doing tiktoks and all kinds of stuff and they are breaking things so they said we couldn't film in there but the guy who runs the place said if i come back during the week he'll take us on a private tour of the upstairs where they've got a, what a 1930s carnival and they turn on all the lights and stuff but uh he said come back during the week when it's not that busy so we can go up there and he'll give us a private tour so we thought that was kind of cool and he apologized for not you know saying that we couldn't film in there but we understood yeah but what special stuff did we buy? Grab it. I'll hold it this side and you grab okay. it. We got, for me, I got... <laughs> Dirt, dirty candy off the ground. I got um, this Pez machine because I thought it was really cute. Plus it comes with some Pez. And we have a bean boozle. Bean boozle. I love this. And then we have some... Show, show them the nasty thing that we got that we're going to take the test. We're going to do a challenge on. What are we going to do a challenge on? Salt and vinegar. Oh, it's upside down, but salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar crickets, guys. And cigarettes. Oh yeah, my kids started smoking candy <laughs> cigarettes. And bad, bad, bad. Candy buttons for me, cause I love it. <laughs> now these kids are gonna be on a sugar high. Yeah. We'll go put this stuff back in the car. Let's go take a walk in downtown and see what, see what there is to look at. Good lord, that's a huge. Never mind. So, the building we're walking across right now, or walking next to right now, 
was a uh, horse and buggy fire station back in the uh, late 1800s. So obviously they turned it into a restaurant, but yeah, right there, those are stalls. Those are horse stables. That's where they used to put the fire engines, fire horses, should I say, back in the day. That gives you an indi indication of how old the downtown Omaha is. I love history. I think history is probably going to be my favorite subject because I like how old it is. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely am gonna have a good night here. Uh, back in the day, Autumn, over here, this restaurant used to have an original streetcar that used to sit on the side of it here, but they wanted more parking in downtown, so they took it up. But we used to go to this restaurant, and we'd go in here and we'd eat in the streetcar. And here's the original rails to uh, the old streetcar system down here. <laughs> yeah, we're just thinking about, we gotta bring Gunder down here and everybody can pet him and get used to people. So, because we live it on the homestead, it's like he doesn't get exposed to a lot of people all the time. So we definitely want to bring him down here. That's a good idea. Well, maybe we'll do yeah. that next weekend. Yeah, bring oh. him down here. Yep, yep. We might need to bring a backpack because the last time I brought him somewhere where he actually had to walk a long distance, he was one of those dogs that flopped down and would not get back up. <laughs> you would too if you were one of those big old clod hopper feet of his. And he's even bigger now. <laughs> Let's head to this ice cream shop. I'm sure that they will let us film in there because they actually have like old 1920s uh, uh, ice cream making machines. It's really interesting. So. And they're made of wood and everything, so it's gonna be really cool when we go in there and check it out. It's pretty historic, to say the least. I just love the fact that it's an old gas station. Right, trying to get a close up. <laughs> what are you trying to do? See your pores or what? No. <laughs> what, you know, like you guys don't like cameras in your face, huh? Well, we're inside, and I promised you guys I would show you those ice cream machines, and here they are. Tell me that is some old stuff. I think it's really cool. How do you work it, though? Yep. So, yep, there's the rock salt. I don't even know what the date is on these things, but man, look at that. Look at the side there. By the top, by... Got a little bit of a corrosion problem down here. Surprisingly, it is in shape. It's like this is this is like really old stuff. So um, I'm surprised it's gonna shape and it still works. Still works. They've got a new flavor that I think him and I are gonna try if it's what you think it is. But it says up on the board they have root beer ice cream, not root beer float. Hopefully, nothing wrong with that. We like root beer floats, but root beer ice cream is kind of cool to eat. So that's not a super old photo. But it gives you an idea what it used to look like. And the photo right here was the gas station before it. What kind of flavor ice cream are you going to get? Um, probably either strawberry or chocolate. Oh. Or mint. You really? What's what wrong, bud? 8.01. You tired? No. Oh, no. What time did you go to bed, I said? 8.01. No. <laughs> did you hear me open up the door and let Brody in? Maybe. Why don't you just lick your, lick your thumb and just take care of <laughs> I would have a few years ago but now that's nasty like <laughs> <laughs> like get that get that smudge off your upper lip <laughs> it's not coming off is it the smudge off your whole face <laughs> my whole face my mom gave up on that <laughs> it's pretty you can you can not just be the fear <laughs> If you try to, I want to come and watch it. Can I start eating it? Alright. Thank you. Oh man. Oh, this is not good. It was at this moment that he knew. It tastes like cinnamon. Tastes like root beer and vanilla. Can I try 
Alright, well. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know if it tastes like root beer. That root beer ice cream was not what I expected it to be. It tasted like a like a cinnamon donut, which is not bad, but it's not root beer, that's for sure. Uh, I kind of ditched mine. I didn't finish mine. Woo! Hey, I'm up here with my top of ice Too fast, too furious. Too fast. That's so cool. I wish I had a motorcycle. I'd be so cool. You want to be? You want to be cool? Look at that. That's an old Viper right there. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'd take an old Viper any day. But there's another candy shop that we need to go to. But we're not gonna go inside. Psych! Oh, they see they just closed. They just closed. See? Darn. That says don't. That doesn't say open. It says closed. That doesn't say open either. That says that says closed.